okay welcome back to um, the next episode so um, in the previous episode I spoke about uh, me we can talk about liquidity concepts and here we are yes so okay when we come to liquidity concepts you have always watched YouTube videos and you have heard about support and resistance you have heard about double bottom double top triple bottom triple top and all those stuff and how it works properly for most traders now let me break the secret to you so when we come to double bottom and double top this is what basically happens you are having price structure let's say you, um, you have price structure and you have price hitting a uh, hit the down then came back to hit again and then push back to the upside yes it works and some traders will call it the w and m patterns right so we have this type of patterns um, that practically work for a lot of traders so let me draw the end so with this you have your w and m which is basically a double bottom you can see you have your double bottom here and your double top right let me just give you an annotation so here we have your double bottom uh, double bottom is it bottom this way i don't know um, double bottom and then double top right so you have your double top uh, double top all right so with these two basics of structure that you already know you have heard about right you will say they'll tell you anytime price comes to the next end of another structure it means price is going to shoot to the downside and anytime price comes to the end of another structure is price is going to so what buy so and we have always heard about this thing but what if i tell you that most at times price needs to go up take liquidity and then push to the downside this is how it works assume you are having price going to the downside then you see price creating um structure like this be careful because when price breaks structure and it is returning it's probably probably going to take your stop losses below here and continue to the outside let me explain i guess you don't understand so let's come to this particular structure here um when you see structures like this there are a lot of buy stops uh, and then sell stop losses lying above these places and a lot of sell stop and then buy stop losses lying below these particular places right why am i saying this because it is only going to repeat itself anytime people already know that um price has it is support and resistance and price is basically going to continue let me draw this line so let's say you have this particular lines here right these two lines let me draw these two lines and we have already been taught that when price hits this particular place it means it is going to fall and when he's here going to buy here is going to sell buy sell buy then sell buy sell don't get me wrong i'm not saying support and resistance does not work but let's look at this concept quite severely most importantly the market makers know that a lot of people are going to buy when price breaks out of this particular trend hence they are going to say if price breaks they're going to buy it uh, comes to retest and they're going to buy to continue the trend and others are going to say we are going to sell and then price will go and then come down and continue the trend right this is basically how they are going to have their understanding so now because they have this particular understanding those buying their stop losses are going to be below this particular structure and those selling um so let me make this red this particular structure or let me make it blue as it is buy and those selling their stop losses are going to be um at the top of this particular structure right hence the reason why i am saying um they are always going to probably be taken out so now we now we know that price people buy uh, selling this particular structure when it breaks out their stop losses are going to be at the top here and those buying their stop loss are going to be um stopped here so let me just write it down for you not to forget right so we have i'm going to put buy stop losses buy stop uh losses buy stop losses and sell stops so these are two different meaning sell stops right so these are basically two different meaning so let me do this 16 right or oh, no let me put it 20 okay so the 20 is okay and this right white so you can see clearly and we also have here um okay we still have it there um sell stop losses stop losses and buy stops and buy stops so we have these two things um if you don't understand what buy stops and sell stops are so buy stop is basically when you put um your trade entry so let's say you have your trade entry here and you are basically saying that when price maybe price was added when, when price comes your sell stop um what am i saying so let's say you have your sell stop 
below the trend right here and you are saying that when price comes to trigger you and continue to the downside making you profit uh, and then you ask and then when it comes to sell stops to sell stops is basically you have your sell stop here and you are saying when the trend comes from the downside is going to uh, buy stop is instead this one is buy stop it's going to continue tapping inside and going to continue to the downside so this is sell stop and this is buy stop so it is the opposite of each other right and we, so so now that you know what is sell stop and buy stop so people will put their sell stops uh, sell stops below here saying that when price breaks out it should trigger them into the trade and continue to the downside and their stop loss to be here now the other way around by those who want to buy they will say that when um they put their buy stops here saying that when price breaks out of this particular range the the range which is right here they are going to continue on the trend to the upside and it will continue so hence their stop losses are here so let me just break this down right so because the composite man which is the market makers the bankers the big big banks that knows where the money goes right they know where the money is they know that you're going to put your stop losses here and buy here and then when you are and they also know that when you are selling you're going to put your stop losses here and sell this particular place hence they are always going to stop you out and go to the uh, maintain direction now hence why i drew these particular things right here so now let's look at this particular thing and let me explain so we have we have uh sell stop losses and buy stop losses here right so basically price came and it is what ranging like this or oh, you are saying okay fine um price on price i'm going to put my sell stop here and my stop loss here so price is going to tap me into this particular trade and continue making profits now because they know that price has already broken structure price was creating higher highs and higher lows right now price created a higher high now price was giving you a pullback so and we couldn't see that but I rather saw that price was what continued the trend to the downside because it's already ranging and trust it was pushing to the downside hence another pullback so price is basically going to stop you from this particular place tap into an uh, opportune order block right we have already learned learned about other blocks and i will come to this as i said i'll be putting all this together and we'll practice it in a live chat as we go and we continue so price is going to now tap into an order block right here inefficiency available and continue to the upside same thing applied to the sell opportunities so now you are people know that oh price is going to the upside it is ranging so when it will break out of this place so i'm buying from here my stop loss is here so you see from here the sell stop uh, you, your sell stop loss was here and then your sell entry was here here in this case your buy stop will be here and then your sell uh, your buy stop loss will be inside of here hence um we have the bs and the bulls right so in this case it is a buy position but you are seeing a sell position in a ranging market and in this case it is a sell position and you are seeing a buy position in this particular click piece hence the reason why your goal is going to be stopped out and market goes into the original direction so price will come and stop you out of the trade trigger into another order block which was already uh, um, set by the bankers and continue to the downside that is why you always hear most traders saying that it's not about you knowing how to become profitable into the market it's about you knowing where the forex market money is really lying down so the monies are always lying down in a ranging market so anytime there is a ranging market i would suggest you always push and you stop you know trading inside the ranging market stop putting sell stops and wait for the market to break out giving you a reason to enter the market so in the forex market we don't predict forex movement we actually predict uh, where we, we actually do is react to what the forex market gives us so hope you understand with this particular concept if you don't understand please make sure you um you practically um, give your reason into the group and i'll be really waiting to answer and record another video explaining this in depth um for the benefit of all of, of all of us and you too as well so um with this particular concept i hope you guys understand and so see you in my next episode